Afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. So it's Friday afternoon and we've been working on this 2018 Auto Trail Apache. So it's come down to us from about four hours away and we fitted our advanced 360 HD system and also a category two immobiliser. Now normally we would be a little bit Secretive about immobilization, but you can't see the vehicle, you, you don't know what we're working on, you can't see the range number, so we're going to just show you that immobilizer in action, um, but not fully. Also, the 360 has gone in with our usual um, four uh, wide angle cameras, 180 degrees, and their full 1080p. So, what we're we'll going to do is uh, we're going to jump in the vehicle rather than um, walk around the vehicles we do normally because this vehicle is quite dirty uh, and normally um, we would walk around and show you all the cameras but as I talk about them then Matt will ping them up on the top of the, the, uh, the video as well. So join me in the van and we'll talk about a bit more about it. Okay, so we have gone with fitting the HD screen in our favorite position. It's not an MOT inspector's favorite position, but to be fair, it doesn't take more than five minutes to unplug this and remove it because it's fixed to the original rear view mirror um, stalk assembly for the glass. So you can just pop that off, unplug it, MOT inspector is happy because then there's not what they call an obstruction. Although to be fair, when I switch the system on and you then go from just having a rear view mirror that shows you what's going on in the back of the van here to our beautiful 360 HD system. For me, it's no brainer. I can't really see any uh, obstruction. Uh, it's just absolutely awesome bit of kit. So that's just booting up. Uh, if you've watched one of these videos before, you'll know that it's got a hard drive built in. It's a one terabyte hard drive. This is a 10 inch monitor and it's recording the minute you switch it on. Now, I don't have the keys in. They um, are completely independent. This customer, along with practically all of the ones we do, have gone for what we call the leisure battery hookup. It's the deluxe package that we offer. And this 10 inch monitor here can be moved around. So if you had a really bright day, I can see it as a driver and it's facing me. Absolutely brilliant. I've got the exactly same in mine as well. So let's just pop that back there so the camera can see it. So advanced 360 degree HD system. This is the standard rear view, which is on default. And that's what you can see when you're driving all the time. It's on a 70% rear view and you can see really, really far back as well. On the left hand side is the 30% view of the aerial shot of the van. 
No, if you haven't seen this video before, that's not a drone up in the air. This is this motorhome, but we've put our drone up into the air to take a fantastic picture. That map will then cut it out and we superimpose that onto the screen so that you've got a live image when we're driving of all four cameras. And that's what's clever about this system. You've got a camera at the front, a camera both sides and a camera at the back. And then the software will stitch them all together uh, and make it look as good as it does right now. So I am going to put the key in the ignition. And when I put the key in the ignition, you then get things like your left indicator, see what's going on behind you, and you get your right indicator. And that right indicator then shows you what's going on there as well. So this is what we like about this system is the fact that whilst you're driving, it's there to protect you and enhance your maneuverability, your safety on the road, and whether you're driving in the UK or abroad just means that you can see quite far behind you as well. So we've also got some extra features. One of the extra features that we like is the momentary switch. Uh, sorry, the, um, the side or landscape view. Now this means that this little view on the left hand side, because people have said to us, well, it would be great if we could see it bigger. Well, like the uh, parking sensors fitted in cars, we've given it to you full screen, landscape as well. So that if you were parking or maneuvering or driving, you can see all round your van as best as those four cameras can offer that footage for you. Now it is quite a sunny day today, so we've got the shadow of the um, uh, shadow of the um, vehicle in, in the picture as well. But also we've got what we call the momentary switch. So if I press it once, that leaves you on side view. So you've got both the side cameras uh, left and right with the van in the middle. And then the next one is the front camera. So this is attached to the front grill and we can see as far in front of us as maybe 15 feet, which is absolutely perfect. And then back to the default. The most important thing is this little red dot means it's recording onto a hard drive. So if something was to happen to us right now, this is all on a hard drive being recorded for if you ever needed it in case of an incident and other bits and pieces like that. So 360 HD fitted into this 2018 auto trail. We've done so many of these now and to be fair, they are, it is easily the best system on the market by far because there are others out there that just simply don't compare. Right, what we're gonna do now is show you quickly the immobilizer that we fitted. So for the immobiliser side of things, obviously it is a security product, so we need to be careful on what we say and how we do um, say it, just because otherwise it's not fair on the customer that's had this done. But we do fit a lot of these, uh, and I think they are fantastic for the money. It is a Thatcham Cat 2 immobiliser, so category two. On the dashboard, you've got a little red flashing light, and then on the key ring, you've got two of these transponder, um, immobiliser tags. So if this isn't present in the vehicle um, and then in the receiving area, the vehicle won't start. So just to put it simply, if I open the door and get in, I get a preset time period for me to de-immobilise or to switch off the vehicle immobilisation, otherwise the vehicle won't start. So like, even if I've stolen the keys here, I'm gonna put the key in and I'm gonna try and start. Okay, so all we're getting is just a click because the immobilizer um, is basically protecting two circuits in the vehicle and those circuits vary, but generally they are things from starter, ignition coil, fuel pump. I mean, there's so many of them to list, but all depends on the vehicle. Now, when I then open and shut the driver's door, like so. I can then immobilize or turn off the immobilizer and do that. I can now put the key in the ignition and the engine starts. The whole point of this is that immobilizers were good when people weren't stealing keys. If somebody broke into this vehicle and tried to steal it, they wouldn't be able to steal it. Obviously, if someone 
has got your keys and they've stolen, broken into your house or whatever the heck they've done and they've got your keys, the transponder is on the key ring, which means that they could potentially steal your vehicle unless you've got a good old visual uh, crook lock or something similar. So what we do is, depending on what the customer wants and where they want it, we will then put the receiver in a certain part of the vehicle, normally at the front of the vehicle, otherwise it turns into a bit of a nightmare, so that then the vehicle can be protected even further by, even if the keys are on here. So that is the immobilizer. It is on our website, so check it out. And you do get a little certificate with it to say that it's um, a Thatcham approved insurance um, immobiliser. And this has been fitted to a two, uh, 2018 Auto Trail um, motorhome. So if you've got a vehicle like this and you want either the 360 or an immobiliser or a tracker or anything like that, get in touch with us. The website is www motorhomeretrofits.co.uk don't forget to like subscribe tell your friends and family and thanks for watching